Okay, this is the second soap today. This is um, Patty at Cabin Fever Soaps and Essentials. And this evening we are going to make Flower Child. And it has a lot of bright colors in it and whatnot, but it should be pretty much a short video. Um, as I've said before, you know what, maybe I need to turn on a light. It's just too I don't know if that's going to shine a thing, but you can see how tired I am. Um, this is my corn silk, and you've heard me talk about it before. And it makes the soap feel just like as if you put in silk. And you usually put silk um, in the live water. And so I put the corn silk after I grind it up, then I put it in the lye water. And this one is also going to have aloe vera powder in it. And I got this from uh, Nature's Garden. And I love the way it feels on the skin. It's a really good uh, nurturing soap. So, um, let's get started. I'm going to put my eyeballs on and then put the lye water in with my oils. Everything is at a very, very cool temp. And this is what it looks like when I add the aloe vera powder and um, also the corn silk. So it's because it's in the, the lye water. So I'm going to strain it because I don't want any big pieces in it. Am I in your way again? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. See, I just want the, the solution in there. I don't want any of that floating around, if at all possible. I should have got my bigger strainer, but this is okay. The girls start school tomorrow. Yay! Um, Brianna has been homeschooled for two years now. She's done very, very well. And has got caught up on all her studies. And now they are going to the private schools, um, a Christian school at our church. Um, I don't know how many years the school's been in. I think it's like 40-something years, but don't quote me on that. But... Um, very, very good. It's a small school, so they get more one-on-one, -on -one. and I they know just about everyone that goes there, so that kind of helps. And Danny will be going in a couple of years, I think. Maybe sooner, but who knows. I think he feels kind of bad not be in there with the girls, but he does love his class and his teacher this year. This is a very earthy fragrance, the flower child, of course, has a lot of patchouli in it, and some other earthy fragrances in it. Um, it's a hippie soap. 
Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to get out of there. Really wouldn't be like this, but guess what this hillbilly forgot to do? Yeah, put it in when it was hot. So don't think that if you use this that, that you're going to have to mess with it like this. Um, because you won't. You can put it in there when it's hot. My fault, my bad. But it would be alright. still has a lot of the substance in it. Um, the aloe vera. I can even feel the slickness on it. But the aloe vera and the corn silk. So now I'm just going to mix this up together and keep going so it's not a long video again. <laughs> I just want to get it up to a multiplication and it looks like it is, I don't even have the fragrance in there yet. So maybe, yeah, I'll just put the fragrance in now. As I used this before, so it should be pretty fine. Oh yeah, hippie. Very popular soap. I just have a big order, so I need to make it again, and I think the last time that I made it, I did not video it, so this is pretty cool. Okay, that'll work. usually soak that night. Let's see if I can get this off in there. Yay! I better not say that because the last time it, it didn't want to do it on me. Let me get this part taken care of out like even just the live water setting around out of the dish. We'll it and then we'll it okay, I have this color is a green, and I don't need very much color because we've got a lot of colors going in. We've got six of them, and our black, and our blue, and I uh, put a little bit of the oil in here because this was an oxide. And these are micas, so they're dry. And as you know, I don't measure. Um, this was an oxide, so I put a little bit of the oil in there, the yellow. And, oops, don't you dare. And a little bit of the red. Well, ready to come. And that's about all I need, folks. Just that little bit of color. Um, yeah. I think that's going to be good. So, since it does have patchouli and others, um, I'm going to put some titanium dioxide in here because I want it to lighten up. It's not going to be a beautiful white soap. Anytime that you use any kind of fragrance that um, is spicy or has vanilla in it, it is going to turn um, dark. And I have a feeling the soap that I made uh, with the beautiful fragrance of um, Dragon's Blood is going to be turning even though I put a ton of um, titanium dioxide TV. So let's get this going here. And it's already greasy. So.
and hippie-ish, you're not going to want it bright white anyways. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Let's go for the lighter colors first. Okay, go for the yellow. It's going to be very hard due to the fact that it is a little bit, so I don't want it to splash all over, but we got to do some kind of blending here. I'm making a mess. See this? Probably not. That's about how we want that. Finger off the trigger. Alright, let's go to another lighter color. Which, let's do the orange. I put a little bit of activated charcoal in this because it was a neon orange. I didn't want neon. And of course, it went off on me again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and bring you back when I get this ready to start pouring so we can keep this video short. What do you think? All right, hang on there. Okay, we are set up now. So uh, here's my base, and so I'm going to be pouring it about halfway. I think that'll work. Right, so I'm going to just get that over there. So then we just start with our colors, and I think maybe I'll start with the red. And again, I'm going to pour high, and I'm trying to get in the middle. So I'm going to pour all of these right in the middle. Just a little bit more. And then I save the rest for the top. doesn't shut off again, so if I keep looking at you, you know why. Okay. Oops. That come off. Now let's do the blue. And this is a well-behaving fragrance. As you can see. Oops. I'm pouring right-handed, and I shouldn't be there on So I'm going to switch. Hopefully I'm not going to be in your way. Okay, put that over there. Then let's do, let's do the black. All right. I can't do that. i got to do it with my left hand. I'm not getting it in the middle, am I? It's okay. Okay, we're going to save that little bit. Okay, let's go yellow. Why not? Here I go with my right hand again. Let's do the red. 
think I'm running out of space, so I better hurry my butt up. Okay, I just poured the last bit of the base in there, so now I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to go this way and do the same with this. Okay, and then this way. In there. It's still very, very fluid, which is very, very nice. And if it cuts off again, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be laying um, the top so I can swirl the top and make it a nice thing. But let me see if I can make it a really pretty bright top by putting this white, whiter base, lighter base, on the top. And I can't wait to cut it and show you what it's going to look like. It smells very good. But I like herbal scents and I love earthy scents. And I love, love spicy scents. So, a little bit of floral in it. That's my favorite. Okay. Now, let's get some colors on here. Not very much. Just enough to make a little design on top. And this one I'm kind of like splattering. I am not doing the line thing. Um, just wanted to show you that it's so easy to just make some beautiful tops by just kind of just splattering it in areas on your soap. And you only need just a little bit. That video or that taping doesn't go off. Kind of frustrating. All right. Um, let's get some green on there. Okay, as you know, it went off again, but this is what the top looks like. Don't you love just wet soap? Beautiful. Well, does it look like a flower child in the 60, 1960s hippie days? I think it looks really good. And we will cut this tomorrow. So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave a comment. Or if you have questions and you want to um, have a little talk, then you email me. I'll put that on, the, on this uh, at the bottom of this video. Anyways, everyone have a blessed night. Got a tired hillbilly here. Not a hippie, but a tired hillbilly. So I'll be doing two soaps tomorrow after I cut these. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.